reminded me I have something else that's of great importance to follow up on. I know you've all thought about this a lot, and I want to see if you can help me or clarify it or if I can help you. There are two characters. There's Superman. Well, say there's one character. No, there's two. There's Superman and there's Thor. It may come as a surprise to you, but they're not both published by the same company. <laughs> Now, to give you an idea of how much more scientifically our company is than whatever the name of that other company is, I want you to think about Superman for a moment. Superman wants to fly, so what does he do? He goes like this. <laughs> and then he's up in the air like a meteor. What is his method or his means of propulsion? What is the, when Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster created Superman, they said he was able to leap over tall buildings, which made sense because the gravity here was much lighter than on his home planet, so he could do that. They never said he could fly like a rocket, but I want to show you how much different Marvel is and how scientific we are. <laughs> when I did Thor, I wanted him to fly, but I wasn't going to have him just do this. <laughs> so being a scientific wizard myself, <laughs> I decided that he would have this great hammer on a thong, and he would swing the hammer around until it went as fast as a propeller. Now, you're holding a swinging hammer that's going as fast as a propeller. It's going to lift you up into the air. So you see, we had a perfectly scientific reason. <laughs> for so, I think that just illustrates the difference between the two. Thank <laughs> you.